Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today I want to show you guys how to get the Clockwork Assault Rifle in Terraria. And you get the Clockwork Assault Rifle by killing Wall of Flesh. It isn't a guaranteed drop, but I would 100% get it in every one of my playthroughs as it helps you to survive hard mode, especially when you're playing Master Mode. And it does a basic amount of damage, 18 range damage. It's a three round shot but it only consumes the first ammo, so you get to triple the amount of ammo that you have. If you're not using the Endless Musket Pouch and you're using things like Crystal Bullets and Meteor Bullets, for example, it's very good to cut down on the farming so you don't have to go farming for these items as often. Very useful, does good damage, got a good shot speed. I would upgrade it, of course. I always upgrade mine, especially when you're playing Master Mode. You just need that little bit of extra damage but it's just so useful for taking out normal mobs and for some of the earlier bosses in hard mode. I usually go for, you know, legendary, unreal, the classics, godly, but because I'm not going to be using the Clockwork Assault Rifle for very much apart from maybe farming Wall of Flesh and for killing normal mobs, I think we can settle for something like demonic. We don't want to spend too much gold here because especially in master mode gold is very hard to come by so we'll stick with demonic i'm going to show you something very neat here and that is if you want to spawn wall of flesh but you don't have a guide doll put the guide into a prison house as i show you on the screen in a few seconds and just when he's in there he'll spawn there at night time just take out the blocks from below him he falls into the lava and it'll spawn wall of flesh for you. No need for a guide doll. So if you're ever looking for guide dolls in this game and you just can't get them anywhere, do exactly what I just did there and you'll be able to spawn wall of flesh without having to worry. And honestly, I find it quicker and more fun to put the guide into the lava himself anyway, especially since it takes him a couple of seconds before he dies. That way you have a couple of extra seconds to get your buffs ready and to make sure your maximum health. Now, most of you guys know how to kill wall of flesh I'm pretty sure anyone who's played Terraria has already fought Wall of Flesh. But I just want to show you how quickly the Clockwork Assault Rifle kills Wall of Flesh, especially in Master Mode. This is way faster than everything that I was using previously. It's faster than the Bee's Knees. It's faster than the um, Space Gun. And honestly, I'm not even aiming properly here, and I'm still doing way more damage than I would have with the others. For Wall of Flesh, I usually aim for the middle mount once he gets down to about half health or once he starts to speed up. That way you can kill the slugs that come out of his mount as they come out instead of having a risk of them going underneath you and then coming up and attacking you. I know it does less damage to attack the middle. The eyes have lower defense, but I would prefer to survive longer and do damage over time to Wall of Flesh than to literally do more damage to him and he ends up ki killing me because the slugs or the worms hit me and then he shoots his lasers at me at the same time. Especially in master mode, he gets really, really fast towards the end and his lasers are pretty much non-stop towards the end as well. He's going to start getting really aggressive as we get him down to the lower ends of his, le of his life. So when it comes to the Clockwork Assault Rifle, I have used this product every single time in my playthroughs for God only knows how long. And I honestly think that I have never found an alternative that's just as good. But I think there is one particular item that I get after Clockwork Assault Rifle that is slightly better, and that is the Ice Bow. So I'm going to show you how to get the Ice Bow in the future. The Ice Bow is something that you'll probably get using the Clockwork Assault Rifle. But once you get the Ice Bow and you have the Endless Quiver, you are going to be doing so much damage and just so much DPS to your enemies. And it's so spammable as well. So the I suppose the order that you would get things in is the Assault Rifle and then get the Ice Bow and then get the maybe the Daedalus Storm Bow. If you use the Ice Bow... You might even be able to skip the Diddler Storm Bow. I've only recently discovered the Ice Bow. As you can probably tell, I've got, I'm have i very fond of it. And I didn't even know that it was that powerful. I never used bows that at this stage of the game. But uh, yeah, now I have been convinced that it is definitely worth it. 
And when it comes to the Clockwork Assault Rifle itself, I'm going on about the bloody bow. And I'd recommend using different types of bullets and seeing which bullets you prefer. Maybe you could use, for example, crystal bullets or you could use even chlorophyte bullets later on. But you're probably going to have the Mega Shark by then. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you have any questions and best of luck in your Terraria. Ta-ta!